Hey everybody, got back a little early this weekend, so I figured I'd do a weekend stream, even though it's about a couple hours from being over. But we get a couple new things this weekend, as expected. As you can see already, on the front page right here, we got Marshall Falk up here. Um, and as you can see, it says, Legends have arrived. So... As many of you may know, legends have arrived. Um, so I'm going to just talk to you about that. We got the weekend tournament going on. Um, things about live events, some things about long shot, um, some good players to look at for your team, tips and things like that, as always. Um, let me put that off real quick. I always forget that. Uh, how you doing? Let's see. So, yeah, um, Legends have changed. Um, we're going to get into a little bit of that eventually. I'm going to go into the weekend tournaments. Um, stuff you can get them from that. Some live event stuff. Um, and I don't know. Whatever else I can really think of in this next couple of whatever time we're doing this for. But, um... Got some good things going on. I'm pretty happy so far with this game overall. Um, legends have changed, so we're going to get into that. Um, the legends are Steve Atwater right now, Johnny Abraham, Marshall Falk, and Orlando Pace. As you can see, I, read, I got an Orlando Pace from the other day. They also got these cool card arts that move from really good plays that they had. Um, during their careers, but uh, actually, that's weird. Now that I look at it, I have a Steve Atwater one. So it looks like you can put any collectibles into these um, sets, which helps out a pretty good amount, I guess. Um, I guess you only have one collectible per player, is what it seems like. So this one would go into here, obviously, because that fits that specific player. But then you can use any of them afterwards. Now this Legend Shield, three Legend Player collectibles are in a Legend Shield. Legend Shields could be used in place of any specific Legends Player collectible, so literally it could be used for any specific player for their specific thing. How you doing, Andrew? Um, it could be used for anybody's specific thing, so it's like if I was in John Abraham and I had that badge, it would go into his 2010 slot right here um, instead of over here like this one does right now. So they're a little bit different. They have a progression set also. Um, I believe this just gives you collectible. Yeah, it just gives you a collectible basically. So legends will take a while, a lot of grinding in order to get them. But um, they, it's a different way of doing it, obviously. Uh, I kind of like it, but we'll have to see. I'm sure some people have legends already. If 3.4 million coins, dude, hell, how did, how did you manage that? I need to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else is there going on? Um, so I want to give a tip real quick based off of the long shots, guys. Uh, I kind of messed up when I was doing it. Something that you guys should know is you should definitely go for leveling up Devin Wade um, there's a lot of good wide receivers and Colt Cruz is honestly not one of them I should have put all my all my collectibles into Devin Wade because he is pretty sweet and that extra speed would definitely help I actually got these two today got a Darren Sproles stacked player and a Brent Selleck stacked player today from the events and as you can see the um, Darren Sproles gives Brent Selleck plus one speed, and then the Brent Selleck gives this Darren Sproles plus two strength. I was kind of disappointed to find out that it doesn't do that for the entire team when they were put together. There's also another one, like we put them, Zach Ertz can also be put together with them. Uh, I don't have him yet, obviously, but it's no big deal. Um, let's see. So... One thing I want to emphasize, and unless you could get a really good deal on it, otherwise it's the only real exception to this, 
the best way to get a good team right now in Madden Mobile and for the cheapest is to not go for elite players. Do not try and buy elite players unless you can get them really cheap and flip them real quick for a lot of a lot of coins. But otherwise, it's going to cost a lot in order to do that. The best thing to do with this is to go around, I think, the 94 to 96 range um, of players, uh, of gold players, I should say, and level them up, basically. It'll be a lot cheaper. You'll get better players out of it. And granted, only the um, gold players right now can be trained only 10 levels, I believe. Yeah, they can only be trained 10 levels. So... There is some limitations to it, whereas these can go 30 levels, apparently. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a little impressive. You could, Dude, this guy is, would be absolutely crazy after his boost. Let's see what Devin Wade would be after his boost. Oh, wow. That throw power would be at 112, if I did my math correctly. That's crazy. But, um... Yeah, the these mid-range um, gold players are a lot cheaper to level up. It's a lot easier. Even just going, I'll go into this dude real quick. Don't know who he is, but eighty. It only costs eighty-six XP to go up a level for this guy. Literally, I have a gold player that can bring him up four levels already. Let's see what four levels would get this. I mean, he's getting plus. Oh, it's not even four levels. That's four levels. So he's getting plus four in almost every stat. And, I mean, he's probably would be better than most of my team at this point. Um, or most of the other players I have on my team at this point. So, it's basically, out of the players I have, being able to level him up that much versus me spending probably minimum 20k or more on an elite player where I could spend basically nothing on the players I have and um, get them much better and for a lot cheaper. On the other hand, if you do have elites in those positions already and you don't want to worry about leveling them up, get rid of your gold players. Now, that sounds kind of weird because everybody's trying to get their teams good, you need them from training, things like that. A lot of gold players can be flipped for a good amount of money. Uh, uh, granted, you're getting a lot of them for probably from events or from packs and things like that, so you're getting them at no price at all. and you send them out and you'll get maybe a couple thousand out of it um and it gives you room to get other stuff for your league whether it's more gold players more things for positions you need and stuff like that um i haven't done that yet because i just kind of found this out um but yeah oops but um that's something i do suggest in the beginning here there is no Jonathan Stewart from settings, and he is not free. So you are some BS right there. Um, let's see. What else is there going on right now? Um, so we got the weekend tournament right now. Um, I have three tickets left. I could technically do more, but I'm going to tell you why I am not going to. Um... It's actually pretty difficult. Um, let's see. It, it, it took a while to do, and I had probably about, give or take, 15 minutes. Uh, wow, 15 minutes. Uh, 15 tickets total, so I didn't do very good. I have 8 wins total. I'm going to get the third tier of rewar rewards. Um, as you can see, I lost this one. But um, they're basically head-to-head. -head. A lot of it comes down to whether you get the quickest time, and it's going to end soon, obviously, so I'm kind of late on this, but this is just for the future. Um, the best thing for these tournaments is stack up on game plans and good defensive-based coach, um, well, coaches. So it'll help you out on the things you can't control, which is the defense. A lot of this does come down to time base. Some people can get their touchdowns within 20 seconds, which is about the quickest you can get it, I think is maybe 13 off of a kickoff, something like that. But um, it will, it, it screws up your entire thing. Um, most people go for two pointers too, so I 
encourage other people to do it also because if you're going to lose it's probably going to be because somebody got a two pointer and you got just a one pointer um before this those are the biggest things you need are good game plans and a good defensive base coach that can help out your team on the things you can't control on defense and try to get your touchdowns as quick as possible find some good plays that will that match your skill set of your team i go deep for wide receivers i actually use a short pass um with my tyree kill going long i forget what the name of it exactly was but that gets me the quickest touchdown either he at least gets within 20 yards of the end zone or uh gets a touchdown so that is the best way of doing that find your skill set and do that the rewards are pretty sweet um tier one you get a choice of these three I suggest the silver game plan. It'll help you for next time. Uh, pick two, I definitely suggest the XP. Tier three, they're all pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to go for the cash or the training at this point. Um, honestly, probably the cash it would probably help me out more in the future than the training will. Um, number four, definitely don't do Josh Norman. That's a ripoff considering you can get him for one cent, um, from a friend or a league member or something like that. So remember to do that. I would probably go for the gold brigade pack cause you could make a pretty good amount of money off of that. Like I was just saying, sell your gold players. If you get a bunch out of these gold brigade packs, um, you can make a good amount of money off of it. Coaches don't really matter as much. And the last one, I mean, it's kind of up to you. I wouldn't get the coaches. The boosters, um, I mean, I would told I love the the gear items and all the boosters and things like that in this game. I might go for that, but I, there's also a chance I'd go for the elite defensive player. But I also can't guarantee that'll be an auctionable item. So that's the main problem right now. Um, one thing to keep an eye out for: you can check your elite, your stats in the leaderboards. Um, as of right now, I'm in the top five percent, which I don't really know how to be completely honest. Um, kind of weird, but you get a specific captain. You can see the captain symbol there, and it'll give you a, a specific rank. If you're in the certain, I think, top 5%, actually, now that I think about it, you get a specific item. I'm going to check that real quick, because if it is, I'm going to try and secure my spot in that. Yeah, finishing the top 5% of the leaderboard to earn a boosted elite Michael Crabtree. So technically right now I would get this Michael Crabtree, which would be pretty sweet. Um, let's check his stats out. 87 speed isn't bad. Um, let's uh, this is check, catching's 87. That's also really good. A lot of the receivers catching is really low right now, which is really annoying to um, for a lot of players because they just drop everything. But he goes plus two jump and plus two catch on play action pass plays, which have become a lot better in this game compared to previous years. Play action has kind of gone away since I believe Madden Mobile 16. Yeah, I think it was two years ago where, um, where you could basically just play action pass all over the place and get past everybody. Um, but yeah, this will this card will be pretty sweet. Uh, be good to have on my team. And hopefully I could stay in this top 5%. I didn't think I was at first, but that would be pretty sweet if we can do that. Um, what else is there? You can stay in the top 5%. I'd be really happy about that to get that card. I'll probably do a couple more, but we'll see what happens. And like I said, I have three tickets left. Um, yeah, I do actually um but well i'm saving these three tickets specifically because i can't really whoops i went out of that by accident as you can see i only have three tickets left i have no way of getting more i did all my daily objectives and um all this other stuff that i can get tickets from so i need four more wins to get to the 12 tier four which kind of sucks that i can't make it there unfortunately but um I believe they're going to carry over till next week. So if you can't make it to that next tier, I do suggest saving them. I might use one more now that I know I'm on the verge of I'm in top 5%. So I'm assuming I'm on the verge of being that top 5% slash higher. So I might do one more to secure my spot, hopefully. But we'll see what happens with that. But otherwise, I'm going to try and save them 
and hopefully they will carry over for the next week. But that is my best suggestion for that. Um, let's see, what else was there? I don't really know what else there was. I'm gonna do one of these. Oh, those are about to end. Is there anything I could do right now while we're waiting? I'm gonna do that real quick since apparently I didn't finish it. Um, so there's a lot of, going back to the what I was talking about before with the gold players. Um, gold players basically will be the, as of right now, they're better than a lot of elites um, because you can upgrade them much more easier and much quicker and this their stats end up being better than a lot of the elites once you do well if he fumbled after you um level them up they'll help you much more and you can even well you can't sell them after that oops um wow nice you can't sell them after that point which sucks but if you do end up getting a player an elite player better in the future um all you have to do is just uh, use him to train another guy and he'll because his levels higher he'll be a better training partner or whatever for your future players so that'll help that out a lot and I think it will definitely benefit your team give you better overall and you don't have to worry about trying to snipe all these elites for way overpriced prices but um yeah that's basically it uh, in terms of that Training stuff. Let's check that out. I'm surprised I have my volume on. Um, let's see what else is there. I do very much suggest doing these 24/7 events. Um, you get a good amount of coins from them, and uh, what's it called? You end up getting the showdown collectibles from them, which are this is as of right now is the only way you can get them. The more of these you do, the quicker you're gonna get them. Um, you only get it from the first win though, so. You don't have to do any more past that first win, which is good at least, but in bad because it'll take a while in order to get them. I believe I have eight co collectibles right now, um, and uh, it's been taking me since the beginning so far. Granted, eight collectibles is a lot. I don't remember how many exactly you needed for in total. I'll check it afterwards. I believe it was like 50 or something along those lines. Wow. Slinch needs to do more trucking. He's not going beast mode on these bitches. But, um, so, they will definitely help out in the future. Get that Khalil Mack as quick as possible, and that'll help out your team a lot. Make sure you guys join a league also. Um, you'll get a lot of cool stuff from it. You'll get gear from winning tournaments and stuff like that. I'll go check that out, actually, right after I check out this set. Let's see, how much do you need for the showdown stuff? Oh, you need 80, so that's even worse. I only have 9 right now, and you need 80 total. So, let's check out these league tournaments. I want to see the rewards real quick, if it even shows us. <coughs> uh, it doesn't even say what's in the level win pack. Uh, I believe you got some sort of... Some sort of collectibles and things like that that go to, into your collection so it helps a lot you'll get a lot of stuff from it and you can get the league versus league packs which give you i believe some silver or better players in the entire thing so that'll help out a pretty good amount um what else is there oh they just came out with some new events that's pretty sweet so i'll do some of those i do suggest doing this kickoff a lot apparently i said the other day that doing the 40 uh, stamina one was the best one, but apparently doing the 10 stamina one is the best way of doing that. Uh, I'll have to check that out for sure. Maybe I'll do it after these, but um, it'll give you stuff for training those kickoff players. It'll give you the opportunity to get the rest of the kickoff players. Like I said in the previous stream, um, they'll basically, you, you can get four elites right off of the bat if you really tried it because as of right now i'm pretty sure i could get the other i could get julio jones and jj watt right now if i wanted to or jimmy graham's the other one i believe um and there's also defensive game plan i may or may not get that honestly we'll have to see what happens with that but it's slightly better at long pass and running which a lot of people use so it will help out 
a pretty good amount. What I have right now is a 2% two two on game plan for uh, long pass and running. This one is 4%, I believe. So it's it'll help out, but at the same time, it's not really as important. I'll probably just get the gold players and be done with that, basically. Um, let's see. Let's do this real quick. Oh, I don't want... Yeah, let's do rushing attack. Why not? Oh, man. So, one other thing is this. I kind of wish I was doing something like Season or something right now. Because this Devin Wade is absolutely beast. Um, I do suggest if you really are in a big rut in head-to-head -head or the tournament or league-to-league -league stuff... Um, Devin Wade's a very good running quarterback if you get the scrambling version. I accidentally got the scrambling version, luckily. Um, so that helped out a lot. But he can get you out of some sticky situations. I mean, the amount of times that I was about to get sacked and I just started scrambling with him and got out of it. Um, it's amazing. So... I kind of wish I leveled up more because he would be super fast. <coughs> I'm pretty sure he could get up to like, I mean, just from the event alone, I'm pretty sure he could get up to like 97 or something like that. How are you doing, Jay Gods? Um, but yeah, he's a pretty sweet player. I kind of wish I put it all into Devin Wade rather than uh, rather than Cruz because Cruz, I ha there's better wide receivers out there ready and. The amount that you can level them up doesn't really help as much. So, um, I, if you haven't done all the long shots already, I definitely suggest putting into crew into a uh, Devin Wade because he could be a good quarterback for a long, long time at this point. Especially, I'll show you his. We looked at it before, but I'll show it again, real quick. His level up stats are absolutely crazy. He can go up thirty levels to um, some crazy stat. Let's see what we got on him real quick. So this is him now. And at his highest, he would have... Let's see. He would have... 113 speed. His throw power would be 100 and... 12. His short accuracy would be 117. No. Oh, I just forgot my math. I went stupid, guys. Whatever. He's in. He's over 100 in literally everything. So this thing would be absolutely amazing. His speed alone at that high of a speed is ridiculous. So if you can put all your training into Devin Wade, it will help. A hell of a lot. I'm probably going to go back through and see if I get any more collectibles in that long shot stuff. Actually, I'll do one real quick and see if we get any collectibles from it. Just because, why not? Um, yeah, let's see. Um, but honestly, definitely finished long shots. The players are good, don't get me wrong. Cruz is not that bad of a wide receiver, but there are players out there already that you can get in packs that aren't as or that are better so you don't really have to worry about leveling him up or anything like that and even the Julio Jones I believe is better so I'd prefer using him anyway oh you didn't get the scrambling Devin Wade yeah that's that's a problem well granted he could still be pretty fast but still I prefer, I'd prefer the speed one just because I love a good mobile running back. I mean, wow. Yeah, definitely running back. I like a mobile running back, but... Okay, we didn't really get anything good from that. I mean, you still can't get collectibles from this, but... I'll worry about that a different time. So basically... That seems like all that. I tend to ignore these practice squads. They're not really important. You get a silver player from the team, but... That doesn't always really matter that much. You're going to get them anyway. 
Probably gonna open up a couple packs actually. These training days aren't bad. They give you some training points if you complete the things, but they don't always do it, which is kind of sad. I like the gear ones and definitely do these 24 seven events. Whatever you have left over, put into this kickoff challenge, get the rest of these the rest of these kickoff players and maybe this collectible if you can. Right now I have 38 so I can get each one of these. And the bonus is if you have extras of these, they can be used for training points for the kickoff players. So you can get them pretty high um, and they would help out your team a lot. So no matter what, these are good to do. And they'll give you some pretty good players overall. Granted, these start at 80 overall, I think. Yeah. I mean, a Jimmy Graham boosted all the way. I'm going to check, actually, my Marshawn Lynch really quick and see what what he's, like, boosted. If I put them all the way up 10 levels, it'd be 87 speed, which isn't too great. He's actually not going to be that great, unfortunately, looking at it. Um, leveled up 10, which is also weird because most of the elites do get um, 30. You can level them up 30 times, so that's not really... It's kind of weird that they're different. I guess because they're kickoff players and easy to get, that might be why, but still. They'll probably be good for a while, but after a while they will get outdated. So they're definitely good to be on your team right away, but eventually they will easily get replaced by somebody else. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Not really too much. I'd very much like the uh, daily goals or daily objectives, or whatever you want to call them. I'm used to NBA having them as daily objectives, but they definitely help you out a lot. They give you those tournament tickets, which help me out a lot. <coughs> I'm going to check before this is over and make sure I'm still in the top 5% so that way I can get that, that um, Michael Crabtree at the end of it. I kind of wish I could get the higher tiers, but there's no way I'm going to be able to with only three tickets. Um, there's no way I can really get any more. One thing I do suggest, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, do your head-to-heads. Um, get your overall up as quick as possible, as fast as possible. I didn't realize this before, but there are different ranks, as you can see at the top right. Um, you go all the way up to All Madden, which is a lot harder, but you're getting 60,000 60, fans in an all Madden win or no it's when you score a touchdown you get 60,000 fans which is pretty good all pro still pretty hard but definitely less so more manageable pro is probably the easiest one or the lowest you really want to go you can win most of them for the most part but obviously there's going to be a couple that you lose and then Rookie is basically who scores the fastest because you're going to get a touchdown every time, basically. So, what tier am I in in tournament? I'm ter currently in tier three. I'm not going to be able to get the four to get the last one, unfortunately. But it's whatever, no big deal. Um, I am missing out on that ten times gold brigade pack. I'm actually not going to get any gold players from this, from what it looks like. So I'm going to get probably silver game plan, XP, and cash. That 300 cash would be really good just because I can use it for... I'm that, I would be that much closer to getting the next coach spot, actually. So, that would be my next goal. But yeah, I think that's basically it for now. This actually wasn't as long as I intended it to be. But that's alright, we got other things coming up in this game um be on the lookout for a lot of well first thing is be on the lookout for new, whoops more long shots and things like that i do not want to do any of that um do i want to transfer coins nah dude i ain't got that much coins yet but i had that doesn't even sound like a good idea at all. Why don't you just make another account that you choose to transfer it? But, um, yeah, this year is pretty good. Uh, I really like it. How much time do I have left in the stamina boost? Uh, it doesn't even tell me. That's stupid. Luckily, I got a good amount of Madden cash right now, but, um, that's about it for a while. 
some of you may say they also have live events that give you 25 Madden cash. So that's something good. Remember to always do those because taking some free money from EA is never a bad idea. Um, so no big deal there. Marketplace, um, like I said, don't try to go for elite players. They're not really worth it. Go for, I'll look at it real quick. I say 74 is probably the lowest. Maybe 75 the highest, honestly. Maybe 76, but you'll find some good players here uh, that'll be able to be leveled up easily. You want guys with a lot of speed when you're talking about corners and wide receivers. Um, around the 86 to around 88, I think. Or actually, I think 89 is the, the fastest out of any of the gold wide receivers around these levels. But um, they will help you out a lot. Get them, level them up. It'll be a lot easier for them to level up. But um, that'll be probably one of the best ways to do it. Uh, hey, Dan Madden, old legend. Um, these gold players end up being a lot better for your team in the end if you level them up than a lot of the elites out there. It'll be a lot cheaper. It'll definitely help your team out a lot more some of them are better than others obviously because their stats start out better i know this evan ingram is pretty good he's one of the best tight ends you can get right around this level once you level him up he'll be pretty sweet he'll have a lot of speed i mean granted you could basically just add 10 to any of these stats because gold players can level up 10 times so it'll be anywhere from 9 to probably 11 ish plus on every stat so he'd be at almost 95 speed after all the leveling up is done and it's pretty unlikely that you'll ever um that you'll ever really get a tight end that's a 95 speed throughout the game so it's pretty cool you'll get will fuller the fifth he got 88 speed and is going for 5 to 10k let's check it real quick uh fuller will fuller he's got 88 speed i don't I got a 7K right here, but that's probably the lowest so far. Oh, he's even got a... Wow, he's got a much slower stacked card. That is not cool. Why do you have a stacked card that's so much worse than the other one? And the same overall. It's so stupid. Um, John Ross, surprisingly, is only an 88. I believe there is an 89 overall. Or uh, 89... Um, speed wide receiver i don't remember exactly who it is let me see if i can find it first it might have been jj nelson let me check that real quick uh nelson yeah there we go jj nelson uh he is the fastest one so far and if you have him, honestly, I'd sell him because people are clearly spending a lot of money on him. So I wouldn't even get him, honestly. Go for an 88. Go for that Fuller, honestly. Um, let's see. Can we even get one for under 20K? Because otherwise, he's not really worth it. Yeah, he's not worth it. Don't even bother getting J.J. Nelson. Um, but that will fuller is pretty sweet i'm not going to get them right now because i will be getting two more wide receivers that are going to be elites so i'm not going to worry about them i mean we already got colt cruz um and i'm going to be getting julio jones so uh i, I don't know it, it may not be worth it for me but for other people it may be a lot more worth it now, he would probably be better than colt cruz after i leveled him up honestly but um yeah, let's see. If I if I could get him for like five K, I'd totally take that uh what's his name? I completely forgot his name. Fuller. I don't want to search that high. Let's go six thousand. Wow, we got one for four K. Okay, if he's if he's under four K, then I'll probably take him. There's a 45 I saw, but I don't think we're going to get much lower than that. But I'll take them either way. There we go. Sounds good to me. I'll even try leveling up. 
Yeah, he's probably going to stay the same for a while, as will a lot of the good players. So wait a, a while. Um, they'll, they'll, uh, what's it called? They'll drop after a little while. Let's see if I can level this guy up and see what he gets to. Where are you at, Will Fuller? There he is. So it only takes 82 to level up. It's not really too bad. Um, he would go to a 98 speed, which is amazing. His catch is only, uh, unfortunately, would be a 73. So this wasn't really that great of a pickup, actually. Um, granted, I could use it for other people, and he'd give a lot of a lot of boost for it. But um, otherwise, that's basically it for that. Um, he's not really going to help out too much. What if I train a trainer player? How good would this McCaffrey be? <coughs> Wouldn't be too bad, actually. But yeah, that's the main thing that's kind of going on right now. Um, a lot of these could be potentially a lot better. Um, they'll probably, gold players easily will be the better players for you. And then the elites, as they come throughout the season, obviously will get better. They're just going to be a lot harder to train and stuff like that, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I want to see this. This Darren Sproles look like it'd be pretty sweet. He's got he'd have 79 catching, which isn't too great. I want to check you out. Wow, that's some pretty good stats. If you're able, to, there's a, it takes a lot to level these players up though, so just be mindful of that. So, and once you get to these lower golds, it's not really as worth it. Um, you're still giving basically the same amount of XP to do the same amount. I could technically literally level him up 10 right now, and he wouldn't be too good, so I wouldn't worry about these lower ones. Um, otherwise, it's no big deal. Oh, man. Let's see. Is there anything else going on today? I don't really think so, honestly. I think I went over most of the tournament stuff. We went over the Legends um, live events, I gave you some tips on some players and things to do, long shot, league stuff, head to head, marketplace, season, and training. Um, something that I do, one last thing that I want to give a suggestion on, if you do have these daily packs that you get, if you do get the opportunity, switch them out right before the, uh, game resets every day, Eastern time, it resets at 8 a.m., um, so... Basically, I would take this and I'd throw in, what, do I, what is my biggest one right now? 24-7 daily pack. I'd switch it in. It's only a couple hundred coins that you do to switch it out. So, um, you get free packs at the beginning of the day. So, it helps you out a lot. I'll usually, for um, the gear stuff, I'll get some elite collectible or elite um, progression stuff. And I'll get a couple of silver, maybe some gold um packs from that and as you level it up obviously you get better stuff this daily or this Madden mint i'll probably get like i usually get four it seems like so far of these every morning so it's giving me at least a couple uh, a little over a thousand coins every time so it definitely helps out a lot you got some of these which are pretty cool these stamina boosters i got a couple more of them um that help out pretty good amount i mean they're only five percent right now but they will get better we'll check that out in the future as those come around more often but i love this gear stuff it definitely changes the game a pretty good amount it literally makes it different for everybody because i could be somebody who has all these stamina gear and i'm doing these 30 stamina packs for or these 40 stamina events for like 20 so catch you later man um so everybody could be different this person could be doing this for 20 stamina each time and you're doing it for 40 and that means they get double the amount of collectibles out of it than you do so it could completely change the game out of it it can make it better for some people um obviously there's a basic standard it holds it too so i think that's really good i think the gear is one of the best things that has happened to this game in a while so that's just my opinion at least but um otherwise i don't really think there's too much just remember guys keep grinding like this video remember to like it uh subscribe if you haven't already 
and I will be coming out with videos as much as possible. Once some new packs, some good packs come out, I'll do some uh, some giveaways and things like that. But um, we'll see what else is going on in the future. But otherwise, uh, I think that's it for today, guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the next day or two, depending on what comes out. And I will let you know about any new stuff that's going on and how it's how it's going on in the Madden world. But otherwise, once again, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Any ideas you guys have for the future. And I shall catch you later.